Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Miss Betty and I'm Curriculum Area Leader for Art. I'm going to talk you through the A-Level Art and Design course that we offer here at Penniston Grammar School. So this slide shows the A-Level specification at a glance. Um, we do the AQA exam board and this is composed of two components. Component one, personal investigation. Component two, externally set assignment, typically referred to as coursework and exam. Coursework is worth 60% and exam is worth 40%. The assessment objectives are very similar to those done at AQA at GCSE level, so it is quite a nice follow on because you are really just developing your skills in depth and, and to a higher level. So to break this down further, it's a two year course where you experience a variety of media techniques and processes in two and three dimensions. You explore the work of artists and designers, both past and present. Um, and we have year 12 as a foundation year and year 13 as the year in which you are assessed. We have previously offered this as a two year course where you received an AS level at the end of year 12 and then were assessed again at the end of year 13. But we didn't really find that this was beneficial to students and we have opted to keep year 12 as the foundation year so that students can make that um, transition from GCSE to A level. On this slide, we have examples of project briefs that we do with year 12. They are designed to give some structure to students and to encompass all of the assessment objectives, but also to give the opportunity for choice and for students to develop um, as individuals. In this slide, you can see some examples of work produced by our students um, from those two projects. And in fact, all of the work that you see presented in the slideshow are um, recent examples of work that our students have done. Just a mention here of sketchbooks, something that we consider to be very important. The use of the sketchbook underpins all practical investigations and it's an opportunity to show coverage of the assessment objectives. Um, it's something that we develop at GCSC level and we develop to a higher level um, in the A level course. This just gives you a bit of a flavour of, of what sketchbooks might look like. Um, we've got annotations, we've got information about artists, photographs that students have taken themselves, drawings, just basically showing the development of ideas, the recording of skills, or experimenting with media, and also looking at the work of other artists, designers and craftspeople. This slide shows sketchbook work on the artist Ian Murphy. This relates to assessment objective one, where students investigate the work of other artists and link it to their own practical studies. And you can see on the right hand side there, there's a little drawing that the students produced. And also there's a photograph that is the student's own photograph. And if my memory serves me correctly, that's Penniston Church. So moving on to year 13, the assessed year, we've already looked at the overview, um, component one, which is the coursework worth 60% of the final grade and component two, the exam, which is worth 40% of the final grade. Coursework for year 13 is generally started towards the end of year 12 to give us the best chance of um, generating enough work volume wise and also um, understanding the written component. The exam paper or externally set assignment um, as it is known by the exam board is handed out at the beginning of February um, and students have a number of months to work on the preparation for that and then they complete the supervised sessions in April. Um, these supervised sessions are 15 hours and they have to be done basically under exam conditions. So just to break each component down into a little bit more detail, um, component one, personal investigation, 60% coursework, a practical investigation supported by written materials. There are two elements to that. There are the practical elements, um, which is the ongoing work that students do in sketchbooks, um, which lead to um, larger scale practical pieces, three dimensional work where appropriate and which covers all of the assessment objectives in pretty much the same way that students would have done at GCSE. It goes without saying that's to a higher level and in greater depth. But the extra part that I've mentioned earlier is the written outcome. And this is um, a single passage of continuous prose. It can be in an essay style or it can be a series of shorter discrete linked passages of continuous prose which are incorporated within the practical work. So in other words, 
students can play to their strengths. Basically, if they are good with the essay style and that they want to take that um, approach to this, they can do. Um, if they want to present the work in a more creative manner, as long as the assessment objectives are covered, as long as it contains the number of words that are requested and looks in depth at the work of other artists, then that is absolutely fine. So component two is an externally set assignment worth 40% of the final grade. It's basically presented um, as an exam paper that comes from the exam board and students choose one of the questions from that um, exam paper. Generally, the questions are very broad and students can choose what they want to do. So it's very important that up to that point we are developing um, an individual student um, so that they can work quite independently. Again, it's assessed with the same assessment objectives that we use throughout the course and also that very similar at GCSE um, and they will work on preparatory work that's generally in an A3 sketchbook with some larger scale work in, in addition and they are basically preparing for um, a final exam or 15 hours of supervised time under exam conditions um, where they will produce a final piece of work or, or a series of final pieces. Typically, we have the exam session as three five hour sessions. They are usually timetabled in April um, and then students will hand in their preparatory work um, at the beginning of the very first exam session. So here's some examples of year 13 work and it's worth pointing out at this stage that students are very much in control of the subject matter that they choose, both in the coursework and the exam. The questions in the exam are open ended and the coursework is arising from a self identified brief. So students can really pave um, a very personalised path through this course for themselves if they wish to. And as long as they cover the assessment objectives, that is absolutely fine. And it's it's what we're looking for, that individual response. In October of each year, we have an annual trip to the Yorkshire Sculpture Park where students take part in artist led workshops. We look at all of the exhibits and complete work on site and then follow up back in school. This provides fantastic experience and really good evidence for assessment objective one. We have a very good track record of results. It's rare for a student to get um, less than a grade C and that hasn't happened for a number of years. Um, most students will achieve their ALPS targets and we have a, an excellent success record of any students who are going on to higher education for art and design. So what do we need from you and will this course be right for you? Well, you really must be interested and passionate about the subject because dedication and commitment are the qualities that will serve you best in achieving success. Obviously, we look for some ability in art and we are hoping that you will have a grade six at GCSE level. Um, but it really is that interest and drive that will get you the best possible grade in this subject. This course provides an excellent foundation for any art and design career, and not least because you gain the ability to work independently through personalised responses and you develop the creative skills needed for further study and employment in a related field. But not only that, many of the skills are transferable to other sectors, and I think it's vastly underestimated the range of art and design careers that might be available to you. Art and design is also a great complement to a range of other subjects, including design technology, textiles, media, music and theatre studies. And you can put together a great creative package here at Penniston Grammar School. But also, if you wanted something that's a contrast to the traditionally academic subjects, it also works very well in that respect, too. Thank you for listening. We're available for further questions during our virtual sixth form open evening.